people are really upset with this new TikTok trend that is making its rounds all over the For You page. Originally, this trend was used for like, oh, what my dog ate and survived. But now it has turned into something that people are quite uncomfortable with. We are going to be talking about both sides as they are valid as so now this trend has turned into what I ate and survived. Are we not past harmful trends like this now? I understand that struggling with your mental health should be normalized, but normalizing eating things is a different ball game. The videos I've seen of people including numbers with pictures of them in the ICU is just so wrong. Just because you survived, doesn't mean the next person will. Using this trend to tell people how you tried to unalive yourself and going into specific detail isn't fair. All it does is glamorize S, entice competitive behavior, and influence more vulnerable people to know how, what to do to cause themselves damage. No, you're not responsible for how people take on these posts, but be mindful that your decisions can still influence others. While yes, some of these posts make really great points of how you should not be sharing what you took, what kind of drugs, what you did to try and unalive yourself, because as someone who has attempted, I would never, ever, ever in a million years share what I tried to do in order to do that. Because people can look at it as such like, I'm going to try and do that because I do not want to be alive anymore. And I really don't like that because I feel like suicide should not be a taboo topic. It shouldn't be a topic that we hide away from and just not speak about at all because it could be triggering for other people. And I completely understand that. That's why trigger warnings are a thing, but sharing the amount of paracetamol or antidepressants that you took to end up in the hospital isn't necessarily a good thing. So yes, I do agree with that. What I don't agree with is these posts trying to kind of shelter people from what suicide actually looks like, from what ideation looks like, from what mental illnesses actually look like. Because, you know, everyone is all for Let's spread awareness on mental health issues. Let's spread awareness on mental illnesses. But once someone actually shows symptoms and shows signs of that, people hate it. They think it's disgusting. They think you should not talk about it and just keep it to yourself. And we do live in a generation where people have to share absolutely everything, right? Down to, you know, what color their doo-doo is. But I just think that once again, I don't think people should be naming what they took to attempt. Not enough people actually talk about suicidal thoughts, ideation, the attempts, because there are so many people who just find it to be a very uncomfortable thing and that's completely understandable once again. Let's not demean these people for sharing their experience because people are allowed to share their experiences as they please. That is their business that they're putting out there and yes it is open to criticism, it's open to opinion, but I don't really think it's right really ethical to go ahead and criticize someone who was at the lowest point in their life because you have to understand when people get to that point of attempting that is one of the saddest things it is one of the most heartbreaking things that human beings have to go through to the point where they feel like they would be better off not here anymore that is what we should be focusing on and that is what we should be talking about. How sad is it that there are so many people who have dealt with this? And you know what? I'm kind of glad that, you know, there is some sort of content out there like this. Not the fact that they're naming what they took to get there or how they attempted, but I'm just glad that this conversation is starting because suicide has been such a taboo topic for so long. It's just one of those things where you can give people really bad ideas if you are to share what you did. It's kind of like with eating disorders, right? You can most definitely tell your story, but putting your weight at the time or what you did to get there is a no-no and that's just not okay. And in a way, it kind of makes you feel less alone when you see 
people sharing that they've tried to attempt because you feel like such a disgusting and foul and horrible and just not really a thoughtful person for attempting. After the fact, you have people who say, you know, you have so many people around you who love and care for you. You have to stay here on earth. Like you have to stay here and not cause pain to so many people. If you were to do that, you would be a really shitty, selfish person. And that is just not the case. If it was a thing where people understood truly that people loved and cared for them and there was help readily available because we're in a mental health crisis at the moment, just in case some of you didn't know, and the mental health system is really messed up. Suicide wouldn't even be a thing if people understood that hey, people actually love you, people actually care for you, but you're not really like sane-minded when you are about to attempt. You're about to take your own life. Do you really think that you're thinking about any of these things? No, you're thinking about the negatives, how shit you are, how no one loves you, how no one texts you, how no one reaches out to you, how you would be better off not here anymore because you wouldn't cause problems or whatnot. It's a, it's a whole thing that I think we should be talking about that side instead of like, hey, I just took like a million pills and ended up in the hospital. It's just so sad, you know, because as far as the mental health system goes, and I can only speak for Australia because it's where I live, I am still on a waiting list to see a psychologist and it's been two months and I really struggle some days because I'm like, I just wish I had a stranger to talk about these things with because there are some days where I feel like, you know, jumping in front of a car would be easier than going on another day. But that in of itself is irrational. You know what I mean? So all my love goes out to the people who are currently struggling with suicidal ideation or if you have attempted before, you are so freaking valid. And I just want you to know if there is no one out there who you think cares for you or loves you, I will always be here to love and care for you 100%, no matter what, no matter what, where you come from, who you are, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Um, and I encourage you to go and seek help as it is one of the only ways to recover and have somewhat of a normal life. It is what I have done and what I'm currently doing. Recovery is never linear and I just really wish the best for you all because I know truly how dark and depressing this is. And I'm just thankful that we get to have this conversation today, even if this trend is a bit harmful and it isn't the best. I'm just glad that we can talk about it since it is so taboo and people don't like talking about it. So with that being said, everybody, thank you so much for joining me in another one of my videos. I appreciate your existence deeply. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.